Hey, what's up YouTube? It's Alex from Elementric Artworks. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to put together an electroforming bath. Uh, I know when I was first starting off, it's very confusing. There's a lot of misinformation on the internet, uh, a lot of correct information too. So I kind of had to go through everything and figure out what works best for me. Um, I will say there's a lot of other methods out there and they probably work better than mine, but this is what works for me and it can definitely help get you started. Let's jump into it and uh, I'll show you guys how I do the setup. All right guys, so let's get started. Uh, first thing you're going to need is going to be one of these containers. Uh, you can pick this up, uh, Target, Walmart, any big box store will have them. Any small business that sells, you know, home goods or anything like that will have them. Um, you're gonna find it. I think I found this one in the kitchen aisle um, for kitchen storage. Definitely look for one of these. Uh, this is a good size. I can dip about probably around eight or 10 pendants in there. Next, what we're gonna need is electroforming solution. Uh, I keep mine in a water bottle. It's a little dusty right now because it went on a huge trip with us, but just you know, ignore that. <laughs> um, but the electroforming solution, you can actually buy from Rio Grande, pre-made. I believe Midas makes it. Um, there are recipes online where you can make your own. It's not too hard and I would recommend it. Um, you just have to be very careful with your portions. You're also going to need, if you don't already have it, a uh, DC power supply. This is what is going to supply the power, obviously, uh, so your pieces can plate. Without this, it will not work. Uh, you're also going to want, totally optional here, you don't need to get it, but I do recommend it. Uh, it's Midas Brightener, and this goes into the electroforming solution. And what that does is basically makes your pieces a little bit more shiny when they're in the bath. Uh, when you take them off, if they're having like a really kind of pinkish salmon color, if you add brightener to it, those pieces will come out a little bit more shiny and you'll have to do less finishing work on them when they come off. Next, what you're gonna need, and it should come with your power supply, mine did anyways, uh, but you're gonna need some gator clips. These hook up to the power supply and they will hook up to um, your anode and to your actual pieces that you're making. I also have some, I believe this is a four gauge raw copper wire. Um, I sanded it all down and bent it into the shape that would fit right over the top of this. Feel free to bend yours however you like. This is just what works for me. And then I also have these little bags right here. Um, you can make your own or you can buy them. They're just, you just got to make sure you have like a synthetic material if you make them. These are basically going to hold your copper anode. Um, basically the solution, uh, the acid in the bath, in your solution the acid is going to break down your copper anode and it's going to start polluting your solution. If you keep it in a bag though, the bag will collect all those pollutants and you don't have to worry about it. So this is definitely good. I would recommend them. So the first thing you want to do is take your bin that you're going to put the electroforming solution in and what we're going to do is open this bad boy up right here. Um, this solution, the way you make it is with distilled water you're gonna add in a little bit of sulfuric acid, which is essentially battery acid, so you gotta be very careful with it. Uh, and you also, add uh, you also add copper sulfate, which is more commonly known as root killer. You can get it from Home Depot. It's used to mix in with water and you pour it down your drains, and then if you have any roots that go into your piping, uh, it'll kill them. So this is very potent stuff and you should use gloves when handling it. Uh, whenever you're taking the pieces in and out, you don't want this stuff on your skin. It's pretty bad. Uh, I should be using gloves, but unfortunately I don't have any. So I'm just going to do my best not to touch it. So let's take this stuff and we'll pour it right in here. And I know sometimes if I'm, especially if I'm not using my, uh, anode bag, this solution will get pretty dirty and you'll see some chunks of silver and some nasty looking stuff in there and it kind of darkens up in color. Um, if that happens, you can filter this. Um, 
I mean, I've done it where I've taken multiple coffee filters. I think I took like two or three, put it into uh, this funnel right here, and then just poured it back into here with the funnel or with the uh, coffee filters, and it worked out fine for me. Uh, I'm sure there are better ways to do that. I've actually heard of people taking Brita water filters and running it through there, and it works fine for them. So, whatever works for you. Um, all right, once your solution is in here, you're going to take your uh, your jewelry bar here, and you're gonna dangle it across. All right, and there's your bar. Um, next, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your copper anode. Um, I'm using a pretty hefty gauge piping, uh, copper piping. You can find it at Home Depot in the plumbing section. Uh, you just need a small piece, and I put it in my anode bag, and then I will drop it right into the solution like so. Um, once again, this is how I do it. There's a lot of variations. I know a lot of people will get a larger, more square tank and they will put these copper anodes on every section, every corner of the tank, and they will run a current through all of them. Um, you can do it that way. You get a more even coat that way. I plan on doing it that way once I get a little upgrade going here, but right now this is what I'm working with, so this is what I'm gonna teach you. All right, after that, you're going to now get this guy going. And what you're going to do, prop it up here. Um, you're going to take your gator clips, boom, boom, and you're going to take these ends right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to put the red into the red terminal and then tighten that screw down just to make sure it stays. And then you're going to take your black wire and put it right into the black one and then tighten that as well. All right, and then what you need to know from here is basically how electroforming works. And what you're doing is since this copper anode is in a conductive acidic bath, you're going to hook up the positive wire to your anode right onto the raw copper, and then your negative to the jewelry wire. The reason you do this is because the copper is going to slowly dissolve ion by ion at a molecular level the electricity is going to create a current um, or think of it more of like a flow where the positive wire is going to push those ions onto the negative wire which is where your jewelry will be hanging from which is why the coating process works so that's why you want to make sure that your positive wire is on your anode and your negative wire is onto your jewelry wire if it's opposite it's just not going to work so don't try it that way all right, so from here, if you want, I take a little bit of this uh, brightener and I will just take a nice little vial full and just kind of put a couple drops all around. And there we are. All right, and that is basically it. Uh, it's not too hard. It's pretty simple. Uh, if you do have any questions, please message me. I'll try to help you out if I can. Uh, if you like this video, hit subscribe below. Also hit the little bell icon and uh, you guys will get notified whenever I put new videos out and kind of help you guys get into this hobby because it is a lot of fun. Uh, you can electroform a ton of stuff and I mean the creativity is just endless on this. So hopefully you guys come up with some really cool stuff. I'd love to see it. If you guys send it to me on Instagram, I'd love to check it out. Uh, Instagram link is at Elementric Artworks. All right, everybody. Well, stay safe out there, and I hope you guys like this video. All right. Take care.